Hello soulmates, welcome to the Honest Fashion Academy. My name is Justice. So in this video, we're going to be showing how to make a flounce. A flounce, like a spiral um, flounce that can be added to your style, to your design, to give it a very nice fitting. So here I have a plain paper and I'm going to find the midpoint of the paper. A flounce is not difficult to make. You just have to find the measurement you want. Like here, I have two inches um, in a cross, a plus sign or cross sign. So it depends on the size you want. You can make it as wide as possible. You can make it as short, as small as possible. So I'm going to be starting this from one part of the cross that I've drawn and take it round you can just see the way my hand will be going so if you want your flounce to be of the same size whatever measurement you have from the center of the paper to the first line that is the same measurement you're going to maintain until you come to the end of the circle okay so it is possible that you use your measuring tape and mark it one line after the other so that you get a very um, accurate measurement for each and every one of the um, circle but in this case I'm just using my free hand all right I'm not bothered about the measurements I, I'm just guessing but I know it will come out okay so for your own sake what well, you can measure it with your measuring tape and make sure that what you have in the first circle is what you have in the second in the third until you're done or you get what you want so this is just how you're going to draw it remember you begin from the midpoint of the paper then circle it and make sure it goes round and round and round until you have um, nothing else to go round or until you come to where you want it to stop okay so this is just what i'm going to be doing right round and after you're done and you notice there is no one part or some parts that are not equal you can always clean and redraw it that's the use of the pencil okay i did not use marker here because i will have to clean in some cases and redraw to make sure I get what I want okay so this is just what if you look closely you realize that the first line is quite small when starting your spiral it is very okay for the beginning part of it to be small that's the starting point of the plants so that it gives it a very nice shape you can have it on both ends the starting and the finish make it in such a pencil or very small rounded part to begin it okay so that when you're done nobody will notice where it started and where it stopped okay so after this now i'm going to be cutting the flounce one line after another you're going to follow the line that you've drawn like this and begin to cut it. So this is me cutting or trimming. Okay, cutting not trimming. Cutting out the circles, the flounce in circles. This is called a spiral flounce. Okay. Now at this point, I'm going to trim it up again, or you can leave it like this. But if you want it to be smaller at this point, like I'm doing, I'm going to trim it again. Okay, so this is just what I want. You can still trim it more to give it a pencil look at that um, beginning part of it. So one thing you need to do 
after or before cutting before drawing out your flounce one thing you need to do is that if you need um five inch um circle you're going to be cutting like five and a half or six because you will not be able to add sewing allowance while transferring on your fabric so if you're cutting on your fabric you're adding your sewing allowance at the same time you're if you're cutting on paper too, you're adding your sewing allowance at the same time because as it is now, cutting on the paper on the fabric or transferring to the fabric, it will not be that easy to add sewing allowance to be just the way it is. You can see that there is no space to it. So adding sewing allowance is very, very important before you cut it out. Add everything together. I hope that is taken. So we are going to be transferring to our fabric and to the stair that will make it stand. So if you notice there is a part that is not smooth, you can still trim it off. So here I placed on paper our fa on fabric and the fabric needs to be on fold. One will have um the stay to stay the the a spiral flounce and then the other part will be to cover it so you're going to trace it out like that and cut so after cutting i have it into two as you can see in the video i have it into two so i'm going to use this also to cut my paper not this thing is not a paper stay this is a color stay a hard color stay because i need it to stand okay i need it to stand now after cutting this on one part of the fabric you're cutting on one part of the fabric and you're going to use the other parts to cover it it will be necessary if you trim out half an inch assuming you added sewing allowance you're going to be trimming out this um paper stay because it's too strong if you sew it it will not be that easy for you to fold it but if you can fold it it's that's okay too but in this case it will not be that easy to sew it so to turn it after sewing so it will be wise if you trim um the edges half inch or there about something that you can sew so that after sewing it will be easy to fold it over and it relaxes very well for you so this is it after sewing and turning now this edge this edge is where the issue is not so much of an issue all you have to do is use your weaving machine and weave it and if you have an allowance there you are to fold it inside and stop stitch on it just to make it clean but in this case i did not put an allowance for sewing there so i just closed it and used my um, sheer scissors to trim it which is not that good i'm still going to cut it again okay so just weave it or fold it inside anyhow you want to do it to make it appear very neat all right or even if you don't um, weave it you can after fixing use some um, applique to cover the edges so that it will not be seen so in this case it all depends on how you want to fix it i i'm supposed to sew some part of it at the beginning of the neckline but i totally did not um, realize it on time so i'm going to use my needle and um, thread <coughs> to sew it or um hold it to the place i want it to be but before then i'm going to be using my pin to get the style lines that i want after which i can now use my needle and thread to fix it so here if you're not um, looking at, up at any design to get what you want you just have to use your intuition you have to use your head your creativity to style it give it the shape that you want if you want the one in the thumbnail on the thumbnail you can 
also follow it and give it the same style or shape that it had so just have to fold it squeeze it anyhow you want to do any shape you want it to take so long as you cut it in form of the plants that is the shape that it's going to take for you okay so use your creativity in this case and just remember that it's not that easy it's quite simple but it, it requires some time for you to come up with something fix it and make it look beautiful it's not a five minutes job so i'm going to cut this video and continue from where i stopped and at least by now i know that you must have learned something very 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 useful on how to go about your plans if this video makes sense to you please give it a thumbs up share it comment subscribe if you've not done so and i will see you again in our next video love you bye